the Hubble Space Telescope. People were fantastically excited about Hubble. The Hubble Space Telescope was heralded as being the finest telescope ever and would be an instrument that would take us back to the beginning of time. Without the Earth's blurry atmosphere in the way, an orbital telescope would have a clear, unblinking view of the cosmos. In April 1990, Space Shuttle Discovery ferried the $1.5 billion telescope to its new perch, 380 miles up, and gently let it go. Astronomers on the ground eagerly awaited the first pictures. So I was in mission control for the carry-up and deployment, and things started to go bad. Well, the first images that were received proved to be a little bit foggy and blurry, and immediately people knew something was wrong. None of Hubble's pictures were showing. The scientists deduced it had a technical fault in the telescope. It was discovered there was a problem with the primary mirror. It was um, too flat by just the tiniest little bit, but enough that it couldn't live up to the enormous expectations that we all had for that instrument. It's worse than embarrassing, it's just frightening. The tiniest flaw had become a huge problem. NASA's credibility was in tatters. There was only one solution repair the flawed optics in orbit. Such a procedure had never been undertaken. Now, everyone was watching. In December 1993, Hubble's repair mission launched. Three days later, they approached the telescope and grasped it with the shuttle's robotic arm. We went out to replace the solar rays, and when we captured Hubble, we saw one of them was kind of bent. And then when we tried to retract them, um, they, one of them was not going to retract. And so we knew before we went out, we were going to have to throw one of the solar rays overboard. The crew's first of many assignments was to replace the damaged solar panels. We wanted to be sure we could see where the solar ray went. And so I was just holding it, waiting for the sun to come up. And it would just sort of float in front of my face. And then Ken Bowersox fired the reaction control jets. And that's what caused the solar ray to almost bend over double. It was gorgeous, it's just flying by itself, you know. But as we flew away, the little jets, the plume hit them, so it's, it's flapping like a bird out there. So it was flapping just like this, like a bird flying out there. We could have watched it for hours. 